All right, everybody, let's talk about the new Sea of Thieves update video that we just watched, where there is some talk about some of the solutions that Rare is bringing to Sea of Thieves for cheating. Now, here's the truth. Here's the truth. Now, I memed a little bit during my initial reaction. I did. I'm a memer. I like to meme, and I like to laugh. That being said, it is unfortunate. It's an unfortunate race between the developers of any game and the cheating, uh, the cheating companies out there, the hackers out there that will create cheat software for those games. So it's just a race between these two people, and they're constantly going against, uh, it's constantly going against each other. Uh, there are, and there will be improvements that are made, and then there will be uh, setbacks. You can't look. You, you we can't look at CFDs and then be unfair in our expectations. When you have some of the biggest games out there in the entirety of the world and they still suffer from cheaters, what is, what is our expectations? You know, like truly, what are our expectations on this? Like, of course, there's going to be cheaters still in CFDs. Of course. The biggest thing that CFDs just needs to solve is detecting the cheats getting those people banned and then making it more inconvenient for them to make a new account. I think that's the biggest, biggest thing. So I think there are improvements that are made, but it's just an arm's length. It's just like an arms race between these two people. And we're on team rare, right? We were, we're on team rare. I want rare to succeed. So I'm sending them all of the love and the best vibes I possibly can, because I want them to win this fight. I want them to win this war against the cheaters. So one of the coolest things I think in that video is they said they have a team of people that they've hired to bring in and they're going to focus in ex exclusively on the the cheating stuff i think that's fantastic that's great news for me as a player that's encouraging i think that's the biggest thing there's ways around everything chat there's ways around hardware bans there's ways around ip bans and the cheating companies the hacker companies out there that make the cheat software they're very aware of how to get around this stuff so it's at the end of the day we're on we're on team rare right that's what we want to win so that's exciting news i think there are improvements that we have seen but maybe not noticed because we're sitting there still dealing with like desync and stuff like that now let's talk about the biggest thing uh well not the biggest thing that was pretty big let's talk about the double gunning thing that was just announced so a lot of people i think are going to be upset uh about the the inability to double gun and let me just kind of break it down my my opinion on this because i've shared a little bit about this but most people don't know exactly where I sit. So in my opinion, I don't think the double gunning change should happen unless there is some changes to the sword. I want to see some changes to the entirety of the combat to make it more even uh, playing ground. Now, for all the double gunners out there that are pissed, uh, you have to at least acknowledge that the ability to quick swap and quickly switch from one weapon to another weapon to skeet players or to almost kill them instantly is imbalanced. It is. It's imbalanced. It, it, it doesn't, the time to kill in Sea of Thieves is too fast for the quick swapping. So I think them changing it so that you can't do that as fast is completely fine. I think it's fine. I'm totally fine with that. However, that being said, as a sword lord, I do think there should be some changes that happen with the sword so it's not unbearable you know i think there needs to be a, a balance uh between everything so like my recommendations off the top of uh off the top of my head would simply be uh blunderbuss no longer one shots the sword goes back to five hits to kill somebody so it's instead of 25 percent damage you'd knock that down to 20 percent damage per swing uh i would bump the i would keep the sword lunge where it's at i would increase the damage of the flintlock to 60 uh, 60 per shot because then basically what you would have then is a sword lunge and two swipes you're dead uh i would increase the sword lunge to 60 as well the flint lock plus two swipes you're dead the if you just use the sword and you're chasing after somebody thank you uh ginger for the nine months much love uh th like there's there's gotta be a, a balance between all of it and and I think if we're being honest with ourselves, the double gunning is the meta and the meta does need to change. But I don't think that I don't think the sword is balanced either. I think the sword needs a, a change a little bit as well. Uh, and I would just, you know, I would just kind of change 
the some of the damage outputs and it kind of focusing on that and i would also add a penalty to a sword user that misses a swing so if you're chasing somebody and you swing your sword and you miss your sword there should be a penalty or at least a delay before you can swipe again like maybe a little bit longer i really think if we added that got rid of one one tap blunders um get the double gunning thing so it's not double gunning the way that it is now and then um increase the flintlock damage to 60 so then it it you know you you got to do you got to do at least two swipes with a sword plus a flintlock shot will kill. And then the keep the damage, maybe increase the damage on the eye of reach a little bit. I'd be fine with making that. I think it's 75 right now. I'd be fine with making it 75, uh, like increasing it by, I think by 5% because it would still require two swipes for the sword to kill somebody um, after that. So I think, I think if you kind of did all of that, uh, we would find more balance in the seas, but we don't want to get into a place where we're just like arguing between the sword lords and, and the double gunners. Like I think everyone can at least be, you know, acknowledging the fact that the balance is off. And for now, the, the favor with the double gunning kind of going out, if it really is true that the double gunning, like quick swap is going to be removed from the game and we're not, they're not going to be able to get around that because they've tried to patch it a few times in the past. If that's true, the favor is going to go towards the sword lords for a little bit. And I'm okay with that. I would still like to see some improvements to the sword and all that stuff, but I'm fine with that. I think that's going to be a good change in the end of the day. Now, I think all of that is kind of my, I would say that's, that's my general thoughts on the, on the announcement video. Truly general thoughts on the announcement. Uh, the sea of thieves news video. It's exciting. I hope, uh, that rare, it, I hope that rare uh, is able to do what they hope to do. The best part about this is all of the people out there that say Rare doesn't care. I think this is a surprise for you because they do care. And I've known that the whole time that they care. But you maybe maybe been discouraged because you've run into cheaters from time to time. That video should at least be encouraging to you. Letting you know that at the end of the day, they are working on it. They've hired a company and they've brought that company in. I think it takes incredible um I think it takes an incredible amount of uh incredible amount of uh humbleness to bring in a third party because you are aware of the lack that your team has to solve the issue i think that's awesome i think that's really cool so i appreciate that about rare like they they were they realized that they couldn't do it and they sucked up their pride um, and they brought a third party in to kind of solve it. I think that's awesome. So I'm in on that. I'm, that's all good. All good. It's a shame to constantly see skill gaps. So let's so let's talk, chat. Let's 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 get your thoughts out there. Let me know what you think. Let's talk. I'm probably gonna edit all of this and make it into a video. So let's hit me with your hit, hit me with your feedback. Let's talk about it. So fast says it's a shame to constantly see skill gaps diminish in this game. Even if quick swap is a minimal nerf to skill gap, it's still what it is regardless. Yes, there is some skill gaps uh, or there is some uh, ease factor that they are putting into the game. I think that's true. Uh, you see that a little bit with the Season 9 World events. But that being said, I think Rare is doing the move that gets more casuals playing the game. So it's, it's never meant to be a competitive game. And I think we have to all acknowledge that. It's meant to be a... Uh, what did uh, Chapman say? A swag? Uh, well, what was I think he called it swag, right? Something adventure game or something. I couldn't give a rip for PvP. Yeah, right. See, I think Safer Seas is going to be great. A lot of people are going to appreciate that. I forgot... Open world. I, don't, I forget what he called it. It was like swag. I swear is what it, what it was. I just don't remember what SNW stood for. Hunt made nearly the exact same nerf to quick swapping a few years ago. Ooh. And it was unequivocally a good change. People said the same exact thing about the skill gaps and punishing skilled players, and it was nonsense. I, I don't think that getting rid of animation cancels is a bad thing. I just think there needs to be more balance with the sword. Have more significant advantage. So do you think the widens the divide between PC and Xbox performance? It makes me feel like I'm going to have an even worse time of sword fighting 
PC. No, so Dr. Walby, here's the, here's the great thing with the sword change. And I think this is a great change. You've heard me talk about it. And I think this is a great one. Um, if I land my strike first on you, your only recourse should be to block. Shared world adventure game. Thank you. Think McFly. That's what it was. Swag. Shared world adventure game. If I land my sword swipe on you first, you should only be able to block. Now, if blocking works the way they said they would, they are they're going to make it, then that is going to be fantastic. So if you're getting attacked by a sword, your best course is not to attack back, is to defend. And I think that's how it should be. I think that's how it should be. Because then after you block three times, you both parlay back a little bit. I can't quick swap 100% of the time in combat and pretty often I will return the animation cancel sequence by accident. I don't want to be punished now when that happens and a noodle arm gamer sword storms me. Uh, sword Noodle arm gamer sword storms me. <laughs> well, now you can just switch your weapon and there's no there's no difference in that. The question is, is how, how big of a difference is it, you know? No one will know until it comes out. I like the change for double, but for a different reason. The more mechanics and skill ceiling, the better in my opinion. But the removal of quick swap sword and double gunners will be more even, and that's good. It it, it will be interesting to see kind of how it all, all lays out for sure. I don't want to be punished for letting a guy with a sword get right next to me is a weird take. I think what you're saying is... If if you want to continue double gunning, you want to be able to kill somebody. If I think four, that's why I'm saying I think force is 25 percent damage per swing is is probably too much for the sword. I would bring that back down to 20 percent. I think that would be fine. I do like how the blocking with swords is a lot better, but I think they should have it kept animation canceling. But I'm a bit biased because I am a double gunner. I I my general take on it is I don't think. There should be a change to double gunning until there's also a change to swords and a change to some of the weapons. I, I think there should be that we should strike a balance between all of them. But for the last many years, double gunning has been the meta. So, so for all the double gunners out there, we're we're no, we're talking about a small difference in time. And if you can't adjust for that, then. Maybe you were relying on it too much, you know? So hypothetically, they're attacking their combo. If all the combos defended, is there a break after for the defender to attack? Yes, there is. Yeah. Yeah. I If it works how it should, it might extend sword fights a little bit, which is kind of cool. I think it's going to be uh, one of the best seasons yet. Guilds look amazing. The Voyage will be interesting. Safer Seas is so good for new players. The double getting change will be nice to see. Hit Reg and the Comet mechanics will be nice to see. The new season cosmetics look sick. They do. They look awesome. I agree with that. Looks like it's based on Sovereign stuff. I feel like it's a good step in the right direction. I know some people have lost faith in Rare, but this has doubled my love for Sea of Thieves. Turtle, that is a really good, just a really good uh, statement. I agree with that. You know why they're adjusting only guns now. Balance teams want to have some holidays too. <laughs> yeah, the the double gunning, you can still double gun. You can still double gun. You just can't quick swap now. So I'm curious to know what the speed difference is on it. The only reason I'm not too mad about double gunning is that it's been on the top for a while. We had a good run. <laughs> you uncle now it's time for the sword lords to reign supreme you know what i mean long live the sword lords for a season until they fix that we'll take it we'll take it nothing wrong with that <laughs> double gun can't be on top forever New era of throwable. <laughs> the reload time of the blunder. Well, you know, when, when season 10 drops, uh, we will do some comparison. We will do some comparison. Interested in playing Five Nights at Freddy's and you said you are. Now that the spooky season is almost here, I wanted to ask if you have planned anything like that. I do have some uh, ideas for like playing spooky games. Yes. 
I think the removal of skeeting is overall a loss of high level play. I think the I think that making the default the quick swap speed would be even better than balance damage from there. The only issue I see with that is I don't believe the quick swapping time to kill is the intended amount of time that rare always wanted. I actually believe that we should have a uh, lower, like, a, or sorry, an increased time that it takes to kill a player. I think it's, I think it needs more time. If you guys played year one Sea of Thieves, there was, double gunning wasn't discovered yet back then. And so, like, uh, the time to kill a player was actually longer and it was more enjoyable. Fights would last a little bit longer and, and all of that stuff. So I I don't know. I feel like Rare is just trying to balance out what they believe to be a fair, um, you know, time. Time to kill. Anyways, chat. Those are my thoughts. And because I will record or I will just literally take this and post it on YouTube later for the ease of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments of the YouTube video.